Hello once again and welcome back to Prestige Auctions. It's that Monday feeling again, that Monday sneak peek that we give you, showing you some of the items that have come in. Now we're doing this quite early in the day because the room is already full. So there may be a few other bits to come in as well that you won't get to see. I know there's a bit of jewellery and that's coming in the morning, etc. So you won't get to see that on this video. However, if you can, Dave will show you, the room is absolutely packed once again. Uh, all the team at Prestige have been extremely busy over yesterday and today filling the room for you once again for another fantastic auction. Well, uh, this auction is for the 27th of April and the viewing day for that is the 26th Friday from 8 in the morning till 7 at night. We're lo located in Grimsby, DN31 3AX. Uh, you can't miss the place, there's a big car park outside the back doors. The main entrance is at the back, not at the front, so if you do see us on the front, come round to the back way there and you'll be able to uh, have a look. So the idea of this video is to literally just show you what's come in. If you want to see stuff in detail, then go to our Facebook page tomorrow night from about six o'clock and the full catalogue will be on there. Well, let's get uh, on with today and show you what's on offer this week. Okay, so starting from the front of the room this week, these are going to be what will naturally be lot number one, etc. And we'll try and run through this video uh, showing you in order, roughly, of how we do things. So, lot number one, two, three, and all the rest of it are all these white tigers. And it's a pottery, I think, a pottery or resin. I think the resin, uh, quite nice looking things, though, quite collectible. We come down here, we've got some Asian elephants and a big cat with a small cat on the back, or maybe uh whatever that is of some sort of plant design thing and then here this looks quite like a good fit i'm going to try and give you a little bit more detail today some people are saying give us a bit more detail so i will uh seeing the village that's a uh, light up thing there we've also got some wicker baskets a load of kitchen alia as well and then we get these boxes now most of these boxes come from not just our own house clearance business but from others as well and you can see in these boxes if you're a boot sailor or reseller side hustler whatever you're doing there's lots of stuff in these boxes where you can actually split them down and make money yourself buy them cheapish at the auction and then sell them on yourself so look at this, a Winnie the Pooh telephone. That's quite big, that. It's a bit difficult to show you how big that is, but that's quite a nice thing. Well, what about this? These are banana boxes to give you an idea of size, uh, and they're full of brass, all those brass items in there. And then this one here is full of clocks. So look at this. So if you have a look at that, all those clocks, and then you come to this one, and we've got a box full of kitchen items, and then we've got some uh, some nice pieces there. What are these? Are these Lilliput ones? I'm not sure that they are. So they're all little villages and little houses and things. This one here, more pottery. And then we've got a box of dogs and cats and things at the back there. So we come down a level then. We've got a load of coloured glass. We've got some more brassware. Uh, we've got some more pottery in there. All these again, these are banana boxes full. And all those jugs, look at all those big jugs down there. And these boxes of pottery. What about this? This is a box of mirrors, including an old martini mirror and uh, some more pottery. And then we've got some fantastic uh, light fittings and light shades. Boxes of pictures, uh, more boxes of pots. What about this? If you're a crafter, knitting needles and things. And then you've got all this stuff in here. What's this? This is all Denby. Look at that big tub full of Denby stuff there. Okay, so the natural walk down uh, down the auction room then is into here. And uh, Lisa's just going to tell me who was that at the door, Lisa? The rain. Oh, no, it, was the rain. it was the rain. All right, okay. What about this? What a fantastic collection this is. Uh, property that a real nice property that was cleared this week. Uh, these are all the they've obviously spent the lifetime doing all the cruises and they managed to buy all the the uh, reminders of the reminders of all these because you come down here fred olsen cruises in independence of the seas as well all these have come with the original boxes and the polystyrene as well you come down to this one uh, there are some more of those you're going to see in a moment this one here carnival spirit a lot of these we checked a few of these on the internet earlier and a lot of these are making some money uh p o down there all these ones here i wonder how many cruises they actually did look at it. if they went on every one of these boats they certainly were lucky to get seen around the world as much as they did uh an old sticker album down there merlin one and then we've got some uh what is this? Bayliss and Harden cosmetic set or whatever it is. Some cameras down there as well. And then a pewter jug. An otter. We've also got this here. Now, somebody's put this the wrong way around. So this pottery piece there. 
it's actually got a painting on one side. <laughs> Quite a nice thing. A uh, load of old uh, magic lantern slides are in there. You can probably see them. Mm. And then some records and all the bits and bobs there so we've got that one there don't quite understand that but there's a trowel there there's a light fitting there's all these poker chips skylanders and there's lots of interesting little bits and bobs here lisa has just started laughing for no apparent reason oh, okay okay we've also got a guitar there and what about all these like sort of large tonka toys Website. We've also got quite a lot of Action Man items, as you can see here in these baskets. All this Action Man stuff, not quite sure what area this is from, but it all looks quite good items. Anyway, we've also got some Corgi cars in there. Now, we're going to go up this way. We've got, moving over to these shelves, we've got all these uh, nice fancy Father Christmas bits. I'm not quite sure what that is there. Looks like uh, somebody's wig, but it's some sort of ornament. We've got these nice lamps, these globes. Globes always sell quite well. And uh, we've got an angle poise lamp. A bit battered, that one, but you know what? You could always do it up. Star Wars Monopoly, episode one, still sealed. And then what about this? This, uh, I believe that's Ozzy Osbourne figurine. We've got all of these Star Wars figurines and the Osbournes talking doll and all the Osbournes there as well. Nice collectibles, these. And as always, we've got the large boxes of CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, um, these, you know, sometimes these do okay. Sometimes they do four or five quid a box. Sometimes they do 20, 30 pound a box. But they're always worth coming and have a look at. So all these ones you can resell, of course, uh, or maybe put them through um, Music Magpie or whatever you do. But everyone seems to buy them every week. So it's not very often we have those going not sold. We've got a big box of toys down there, various toys. And then we've got pottery more pottery what about that for a box of ladybird books loads of them this box here is all about uh, maybe groups and and singing artists the beatles and i can see boy george and all sorts of stuff in there uh, rolling stones and elvis as well we've got some star wars figurine we've got some more uh, more figurines down there a box of plated ware silver plated ware and we've got these books on coin and metal collecting now some of the metal books they could be they can be a few quid as well um we've sold some of those before all this stoneware as well and a box of lamps and then of course more dvds on the floor now i'm going to take you down the natural route we would we would take in the auction so just bear with me i don't want to all start feeling sick if you're watching this on your telly so we'll come around here and this is where we'll go then uh, a box of games including Risk, Star Wars, some of those are still sealed as well. You come here, a big uh, banana box full of action men, and what about that for a box of Nerf guns? I'll give them to your kids, that's what might uh, be uh, getting you when you come through the door. All of these games here, and these here, these cast pans, they're very expensive. We always get quite a few records into the auction as you can see there, and there will be some more of those. Uh, be, that we'll show you later on and there's uh, these are old uh, the old magazines for the old gaming from probably the 1980s i'm guessing somewhere around there maybe 90s and then we've got these x-file books and then what about this a box full of brand new cosmetics and things like there's obviously lots of money in there that would have cost a lot of money to put together so maybe you could resell that one all this Wii stuff here, including a Wii Fit, a Wii and all the other bits and bobs, or a box of musical instruments, recorders, bongo drums, trampolines and all sorts of stuff in that one. And then we've got these ones here. I think these look like sticker albums, yeah. So you've got all these different sticker albums in there. Look, somebody's taken all that time to put together. And then a box of... Uh, what are these? These match attacks and things there, as you can see. Quite a lot of those. Box of woodenware. Woodenware always sells well. And then we've got a great big box of Lego. Look at all that Lego in there. Absolutely loud. It's a real big tub, that one. And then a box of uh, these cards or something. Some sort of panini cards, are they? Yeah, sort of panini cards. And, and all sorts of football cards and things. So maybe you're looking for some to complete a collection. And then we've got all these soldiers here, big banana box full of plastic soldiers and a load of die cast as well. Now, I haven't had a chance to look at these yet. Don't know what these actually are. Triangular die set. Is this all crafting stuff, Lace? Yes. Yeah, so these are big boxes of crafting stuff, look. So big banana boxes full of uh, builder block and all sorts of stuff. These boxes here are music DVDs. Um, this one here is a box of Xbox games. And these are Xbox One games. Look at all them. All one lot, that one. Remember, bidding is from just £3. 
more music D uh, DVDs, and then we've got all these toys, figurines and things, Spider-Man, and then all this Barbie stuff, all these little girls DVDs and things, again another good box, and then we've got all these CDs, and then we've got a big box of, which ones are these, Xbox 360 games, big box of Xbox 360s itself, and some more CDs, right, so... Then we come this way and we have a look at these. We've got some nice handbags and carved pieces there uh, for the for the ladies and a load of coats. And we've got some more of the toners. Now we had some of these the other week. They'll be sold by the pile. As you see the pile going up, each one of those will be a lot. They've got some good resale value on the internet. Beatrix Potter books, lots of those. More DVDs, box sets, or maybe some pans. Pans are not cheap these days. It's an expensive item to have in your kitchen, so come and get them cheaper at the auction. I don't know what these are. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, some sort of waterproofs, are they? Or It's all brand new gear, that one. So again, lots of resale on that one. And uh, this Mega Blocks Dragons. You look down the bottom here, and you've got all of these boxes of assorted. Right, into the one of the cabinets this week. We've got all of these stacks. Are these being sold by the shelf, Liz? Those two top shelves are being sold by the shelf. So the top two shelves are being sold by the shelf. So all those Star Trek figurines, that one and that one. And, all and then these are individual Batman cars. As you can see, lots of different die-cast Batman cars. So they're all in this week's sale. And we come here, a large cat. A pair of brass things there. I'm going to just switch that. I'm going to look at that in a minute. Uh, this chap there. And then we've got these seahorses. This big scale, look at that big scale, and these, uh, an old soda siphon, if you want a bit of a retro look to your man cave bar, and then we've got all of these dogs and brass items, all these sort of nice collectibles and fireside items, as you can see there. But look at these. These are the Charles and Diana salt and pepper pots. These are massive. Uh, if you look there, at how tall these are, these are probably four or five inches tall. And these are actually salt and pepper pots. So they've maybe got some collectability to them. Can't say I've seen them before. Anyway, we've got some binoculars. We've also got the old Viewmaster there. And then we've got all this stuff on the shelves here, as you can see. I'll just scan past all of this. Lots of costume jewellery and things. And, uh, and as you know, when some, so when costume jewellery comes into the auction room, if it's some house clearances, sometimes you can find the odd bits of gold and silver in there. So it's always worth having a good look. Look at that big box of old marbles there. And then all of these stones and things, as you can see, and a nice old jewellery box. As we come down this way, uh, in the cabinet this week, we've got some uh, silver, and there is some jewellery to go in there tomorrow, and there's some ornamental guns and things. Now, on here, we've got all these, uh, some crafting. I would imagine that's for crafting that stuff. And then you've got these stoneware pots. And then all these boxes, jewellery boxes, plated ware, etc. And then what about that for a teddy? Look at the size of him. He's a monster. Then we've got all these cases, wicker cases, briefcases, aluminium cases. And what about that for a really nice old radio? That one there, nice old radio. You can see on the top. Lots going on there. And then you've got all these kitchen items there. And then all these various uh, sewing sets and bits and bobs. Uh, I'm just gonna have to come out of the way because there's people coming through. Lego City stuff. We've got these Sony Hi-Fi's, different Hi-Fi's, sewing machines, more sewing machines, more Hi-Fi's. We are a big house clearance business. So we do get lots and lots of this stuff in every single week. Also on the tables at the back, we've got all this great stuff. Now I did say, promise you quite a lot of records as well. So we've got these record boxes, these various piles of records down here. They're all worth having a look at these records. So the records have become very popular again these days. So it's really worth coming and having a look at the auction room to see what you can buy. And we've got all this stuff here, all these cars, all these uh, dolls and things. I don't even know what's in this one. Let's have a look what's in this box here. Um, oh, that's one of them Doll's House collection things. And what's this? Some sort of old uh, CCTV equipment or an amplifier or something, I'm not really sure. You come down here, more uh, boxes of assorted toys. So come around this way. And then you come down here, more records, bags of assorted look. There's various stuff for dolls and there's all these collectibles in there as well. 
uh, a surround sound system maybe or all of this stuff crystal glasses very nice crystal glasses as well look at those really good quality all these electricals down here and as you come down here you've got all these boxes of assorted as well which are always good to rummage through we then come up onto these shelves we've got electric fans we've got kitchen items i'm not quite sure what's in there let's have a look all them tools and things up and then down here more records in fact lots of boxes of records down there and then you come up here we've got die cast cars uh, more osborne stuff there uh, 15 tog duvet never taken out of its bag uh, oh this uh, heater brand new heater that you used to have in your bathroom years ago and never got used and then you look down here we've not got too many um appliances this week but we've got a washing machine and it's a, a that's a freezer under counter freezer microwaves as well we've got some big tellies and a big coca-cola mirror as well now this one here not politically correct to everybody that is an original okay world war ii original that one then we've got this atlas clock and then we've got these big boards of badges lots of them as well lots of smalls in this week's sale so all of this stuff here light shades old dolls wooden uh, boxes we've got various crockery and cutlery and cases and mirrors look at the design on that mirror how fantastic is that a big union jack there we've got mantle clocks staffing terriers we've also got uh, costume jewelry and bits and bobs there and then we've got a big double wardrobe as you can see as well as lots of other fittings we're going to show you in a bit and you come up here we've got uh, flower displays and this here, big old Russian uh, giraffe, that's quite a nice thing, that. Uh, and a big brass camel. Then in this one is all, um, I think this was the anchor uh, threads and things. That is absolutely full of those old threads from yesteryear. And part of I know people do still use them. And there's camera and a printer, binoculars, Henry Hoover's. You come down here, DVD, Star Wars toys, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, wrestling figures they've been doing quite well recently an old escalado game a sabutio a star wars horse racing derbies wf wwf whatever they're called more videos and some old football programs as well now what we're going to do now is we're going to walk back on ourselves because this is the natural route that the auction takes and we're going to go into the back room now have any of any of you that know that watch our videos regularly on a monday the back room is what we call the clearance room so this is where all the big boxes of assorted go look out there that nice carlsberg clock so we come into here i've got my way blocked by a dryer somebody hasn't picked up but we've got boxes of blue and white we've got christmas stuff we've got big boxes of mugs we've got more more records always got plenty of records and then we have all these boxes of assorted now as you come around here these literally are the boxes from the clearances and you never know what's going to be in these boxes there could be anything in them so there's old toys and you know i mean look at that just in that box alone look at that there how much is that going to cost you in the shop 25 30 quid i would have thought nothing's cheap anymore so you come around here you can see all the boxes in the distance there and then all these are big bags of cuddly toys again which some people break down and sell them individually and then you come on to this side or you've got old books and then on this side you've got books glasses old ashtrays and things Think about if you're thinking of side hustling, doing boot sales and stuff, or maybe uh, reselling on eBay. There's lots of stuff in these boxes that will work for you. You look up here, small mirrors, large mirrors, Coca-Cola Company, Betty Boop. There's all sorts. Haynes manuals, boxes of annuals down there as well. The list is endless at the auction room. You come here, there's more boxes of sorted. Really got a busy week again this week. Uh, as we always have then fishing gear if you need some fishing gear or maybe some plants look people have been growing plants bringing those into the auction as well or maybe you're into collecting old castrol stuff or old oil cans look at all the oil cans that are in here and the petrol cans this week some of the designs on these are absolutely fantastic then we've got all these tools there's always lots of tools in the auction room whether it be garden tools or you know mechanical tools hand tools woodworking tools there's all these things here some of the stuff do you know what even i don't know what it is that you don't see it all all the time 
that lovely old chain looking galvanized steel what a nice thing and then you come down here we've got a pine bed we've got fishing boxes and what about these i'll try and zoom out a little bit for you there these are great big pieces of oak look how high they are i mean i'm six foot odd and they're way way taller than me so nice big bits of oak this week we've got an old bench mirrors uh we've got a dinghy even and we've got corner units golf bags this old box that's a nice old box that to be fair is there anything in it no, it used to be a, some sort of joiners box i would have thought all these cabinets and that metal cabinet over there that's quite nice all these garden items loppers uh we've got a garden vacuum there we've also got lawn mowers and hose pipes and then we've got all these bikes as well look at all the bikes mustn't forget the bikes lots of those in the auction as well we come down here what we got here then these are these are bags of some description then we've got all these uh rolls of material all the materials there you know if you're into crafting we've got a garden shredder another mountain bike more stuff down here look that's an old army tin there and then we come down this bit and what we got here we've got more plants look at all these plants they're all in the auction as well or maybe a galvanized uh mop bucket all them tools at the back and then we come around here and then we've got all this stuff here which uh, some of it's probably going to be to do with fishing i would have thought and then all this stuff down here all these boxes on the floor we can't believe how many smalls we've had in this week so we're then going to walk down this way and we're going to go up to the front table so the front table is where we go after the room is finished and then you can have a look at oh there's chris smiling as ever and uh, we come down to this bit here and let's have a look what we got on the front table this week well we've got bagatelle we've got a bagatelle there we've got these old uh, xboxes or whatever they are playstations playstation threes i think and then we've got this old weaver machine we've got scale electrics tricks we've got cards we've got a load of old eight tracks in there as well star wars figurines all of these batmobiles look at all them fantastic batmobiles i think they're a good mate the corgi ones as well uh we come down here We've got Darth Vader, we've got all this army got stuff, toys, all these old comics. Look at all the comics, loads and loads of comics there. And then we've got all these, the Beatles, Diecast, and what about this for a Mammoth collection? Well, look at this, Mammoth uh, steam vehicles and little motors and engines there. Look how much of it is there, are, there is this week, lots and lots of that. And then a big boat at the back. Or maybe you want a big box of PlayStation games. Look at all them PlayStation games in there. We've got some Jane's annuals. We've got some uh, Wii games there and uh, and Xbox games in the same box, I think. And then we've got this violin. I think it was blue. There you go. So you've got a blue violin. And then you've got this great dealer's box full of all sorts, including silver in there. A uh, good rummage box, lots of die casts, and then the big stamp album, a projector, these fantastic Avery scales uh, that you'd have been buying your stuff on years ago. That'd be a quarter of sweets or something like that. You'd be buying it on those. Anyway, around here, you've seen those. We're into the furniture section. So what we got in the way of furniture this week? Well, there really is something for everything, whether it be an occasional table, a pine blanket box, a teak coffee table from the 70s, uh, this old um sort of retro chair of some sort and then these we've got some elephants and what about these pieces of furniture these are quite nice uh quite nice looking pieces these ones come around here we've got a settee uh we've got various hoovers more hoovers always plenty of hoovers in the auction one of the givens every week is seems to be hoovers we've got beds as well double beds three quarter beds and then we come down to this bit. There's Lisa again. <laughs> and we've got that, look at that, quite a cool piece, that one. Uh, some cigarette cards as well. And then we come down there, we've got wall clocks, we've got vases, a modern dining table and chairs, modern mirrors, modern beds, a pair of oars, why not? Uh, a big urn, and then this really nice cabinet, and then this modern TV unit as well. And then we've got these, uh, cabinets display cabinets we've got these oriental type things there now that's going to be the start of a few of those you're going to see quite soon then you've got all this modern furniture again quite a lot of modern furniture in this week's auction so it's not just all old-fashioned stuff got some old uh, fire grates and then 
uh, a telescope and then we've got more modern furniture like you can see here you know all these glass units a wheelchair as well there's the design of those which is quite nice they actually fold up an old card table uh, more sort of modern uh, chest of drawers and things and then boxes of assorted then we've also got this uh, two-piece suite we've got this table and the white swan an old uh, pub sign from back in the day and then down here we've got more uh, things to decorate your man caves and bars and things then we've got a coffee table and then we've got another one of these oriental pieces that you can see there now these are really quite nice pieces and this one here this camp forward box is an absolute stunner look at the design on the side of that one the glass is on the top so it's making it a bit hard to show you but the smell you get when you open these camp forward boxes never seems to go it's an absolute joy what a nice piece that is these are extremely heavy though so do bear that in mind Although we do do a delivery service on sale day on a Saturday, Eddie's Removals help us out and get the stuff shifted for you straight after the sale if you so desire. Uh, we've also got an old uh, retro sideboard there and then we've got these like buggies and chairs, a hostess trolley, there always seems to be one of those kicking around, more mid-century teak and what about this? This is a puppet show. Look at this, this is massive as well. And the puppets are extremely well made. That could make a few quid, it's a nice thing. We've also got a ladies trike or a guys trike, whatever you wanna be. Oh, we've got another one, there's another one there. We've got these real nice boxes as well. But then we've got this, what a cool thing that is. All metal, nice thing, it says on there, about it being the gladiator. And then we've got this rather oriental looking bed warming pan and then some mid-century chairs but this is a beauty this original enamel british railway sign hiding at the back of the room where a lot of people might not see it that's an absolute beauty you watch how much money that makes that's a, a nice thing we've got a cash or credit card piece there uh which has obviously been hung up on some shop or something for years but do you know what? This is a cracking auction. Don't forget, viewing is Friday. This Friday, 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. Anyone's welcome. All you've got to do is sign up to register and then you can either leave bids with us. We had a guy ring us last week from Leeds uh, who started buying some jewellery from us and we've just sent it out for him in the post today. He's paid with his card. Anything's possible at Prestige Auctions. We're not an old-fashioned fuddy-duddy auction room like the TV would have you believe that they all are. This is a modern thinking auction room. Big TVs up in the room. You can see what's going on all the time. Uh, there's a coffee shop down there. We have a great time on a viewing day and on auction days. Get yourself Prestige Auctions this Saturday or Friday. DN31 3AX. And we'll hope to see you all at the auction.